It's our 25th year, we're very excited with the programme. It's a really wide-ranging, eclectic, exciting, diverse mix of events all over the city, nearly 200 events. And we have everybody from Nick Clegg to Nick Hornby. We've got a really strong music strand. We've got poetry. We have lots of fiction. We have non-fiction. We, we have everything, really. So whatever your reading taste, whatever you're into, there definitely will be something in the programme that will appeal to you. Off the shelf is it brings so many people to Sheffield that wouldn't be here otherwise basically um, and really interesting thought-provoking uh, discussions um, it's it has grown so much over the time that I've been in Sheffield, I've been here 16 years and I've seen it get bigger and bigger and bigger and it does seem like this is the biggest year yet. The programme is really thick this year and there's so much, you know, such a range of things, music and poetry and it's not just books. When we put festivals on like Off the Shelf, it says something about what Sheffield is about and I think that what we say about ourselves reaches far and wide. People want to come to Sheffield, not just to visit, but also to, to bring their businesses and bring their families to Sheffield. And I think that is really important for the city, that we have these things that we can showcase and we can say how brilliant Sheffield is. But luckily for me, I found a passion, falconry, which had sparked a, sparked a voracious appetite for reading and learning, which led me to do things I would have thought were beyond me. I feel really honoured to be invited and, and, and it uh, gets a chance to talk to people who've read your book and tell you what they think about it and ask you questions about it. I never want to feel the way that first chord feels, discord, twisting your guts up around your spine, stringing you up high and dry. I never want to die inside for someone else's life. Today for the launch event I've read two poems which are from my upcoming show which I'm going to be putting on for Off the Shelf on the 21st of October. And the whole theme of the sequence is that every poem is dedicated to somebody who's lost their life because they've been involved with music. Um, but these are, not, these are not your famous dead musicians, you're not going to hear about Amy Winehouse or anyone like that. These are kind of the people in the background, the unsung heroes of musical history, the, the kind of amateur musicians. and there's, there's all sorts of people in there from all over the world. Two universities have always been involved with Off the, the Shelf, both as sponsors but also as two bodies who've helped organise particular events. What we're talking about is a much deeper relationship now. So the council eventually will uh, not be operating and running off the shelf. For this year, both universities are working with the council to do so, so making sure that there's the curation done and there's the adequate governance of the festival. But in the future, it will just be the two universities working in partnership to run the festival. To us, off the shelf is a kind of extension of what we do in the city anyway, so I think it's really important both universities have taken equal share and work together to ensure that this festival goes from strength to strength. There's something in here for absolutely everybody. You know, even if you're interested in kestrels or football or politics or whatever, there is something in here for you. And I'm already struggling to, to accommodate most of this in my diary, actually, I have to say.